From the Cape Town International Convention Center, welcome to the CNN Multi-Choice African Journalist 2013 Awards. Please welcome your hosts for the evening, Aisha Sase and McFarlane Molele. Honorable Ministers, Your Excellencies from the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the CNN Multi-Choice African Journalist 2013 Awards. I'm Aisha Sasei of CNN International and it gives me great pleasure to return to South Africa to host these prestigious awards for the fifth time. My co-host for the evening is McFarlane Malelli from Kaya FM. Thank you, Aisha. I'd just like to add my welcome to all of you. This evening really is a special occasion, so it's really exciting for me to be here to celebrate the best journalism from the continent. Tonight is actually all about celebrating the superb journalistic talent that is currently on display across Africa in print, online, on radio, and on TV. These awards give us the rare opportunity to celebrate the people who have brought us the stories. Whatever the outcome, all the finalists should take pride in the fact that they are being recognized for their outstanding work. Whether winners or runners up, this is their moment in the spotlight to receive a well deserved pat on the back. Very, very well deserved. The eyes of the media industry across Africa and beyond will be watching these awards very carefully tonight. This ceremony is unmissable for anyone on the continent with their finger on the media pulse. TV audiences in more than 45 countries across Africa, as well as in the UK and America, will have a highlights program of tonight's event beamed into their living rooms. Now we turn our attention to the journalists from French-speaking Africa. These awards are split into two categories. The first will be for print, followed by the award for electronic media. To announce the winner and also present the Francophone General News Print Award, I'm delighted to welcome onto the stage one of our esteemed judges, Amadou Matabar, CEO of African Media Initiative. Moving on to the Francophone electronic category, again we had a wonderful selection of stories to, fr to choose from. There are two nominees in this category, and they are Axel Michael Chene, Le Defi Media Group, Mauritius, and Ibrahima Benjamin Jain, Radio Future Media, Senegal. And the winner is Axel Michael Chene, Le Defi Media Group. The journalist goes actually to track the fallen hero's journey from prison to how he was shot dead by police. See, la maison est cernée par un cordon de policiers et un hélicoptère survole la zone. Merajen Sabapati tire deux coups de feu et réussit à s'échapper par un terrain boisé à l'arrière, sans doute pour tenter de ressortir de l'autre côté et rejoindre la route à l'opposé. Rajen a contourné l'assaut, il se faufile entre les arbres et les buissons. Le fugitif est proche de son objectif, la route. Mais les policiers avaient tout prévu, ils avaient mis en place un deuxième cordon. It's the depths of the investigative pits, depths of the investigative process which went into this, and the impact it has had in the community. Uh, well, you guess that it's a massive moment for me. C'est un moment uh, unique, et la première personne que je dois remercier, the first person I have to thank, is the co-director of the piece you've just seen. Uh, it's Timmons. Je dois remercier Timmons. Si cet instant existe à ce moment précis, c'est parce qu'il a aussi travaillé sur ce sujet. Without you, Timmons, this trophy would not have been here, and I have to acknowledge the hard work uh, you've been uh, doing on this piece. Et uh, ce trophée symbolise aussi une victoire importante contre les prédateurs de la liberté d'expression à Maurice. Notre île est souvent un paradis pour les touristes mais trop souvent euh, un enfer pour euh, les journalistes. La semaine dernière, la maison d'un de mes collègues a été perquisitionnée par la police. Un ministre a dit publiquement que les journalistes sont des animaux. 
Je pense que ce trophée nous donne le courage à toute la communauté journalistique mauricienne à poursuivre notre travail. This trophy also symbolizes a massive victory over the predators of the freedom of expression in Mauritius. The island, our island, is a paradise for tourists, but too often a hell for journalists. Last week, the house of one of my colleagues has been searched by the police. This year, a minister said that, publicly stated that journalists were animals. I pray that the grace which is upon me tonight be cast unto Africa and be cast unto Mauritius. God bless Africa and God bless Mauritius.